A brief history of cleaning. Cleaning tasks have always been dirty and endless. Before the advent of running water and electricity, however, this was heavy physical work that required a great deal of time, energy, and effort. If you do not belong to the group of women who have a maid, this is your opportunity now to call to the lady maids. 978-349-1202 Back to the past before the rise of the industrial age, women were responsible for all household work, including food production, preparing meals, manufacturing, washing and repairing clothes, wool and linen fabrics, for example, were made, at home, in addition to making soap and even candles consumed by the family. With the advance of industrialization, there was a great exodus of people who lived in the countryside, to the cities as men looked for work in factories and offices. These same factories began to produce soap, candles and fabrics that were previously made at home, which eliminated these tasks from the daily routine of women. The wages, which were beginning to fatten the household budget, also allowed families from virtually all social classes to send at least part of their laundry to newly opened laundries, as this was by far the heaviest cleaning task. 20th Century Inventions The arrival of electricity eliminated kerosene lamps and charcoal or wood stoves and ovens, which darkened the walls of houses and soiled the furniture with soot and smoke. Thus, the need to keep the fire burning in these stoves and to clean them disappeared, a job that systematically fell to women. The electric washing machine was, without a doubt, the invention that most reduced the work of housewives in the history of cleaning tasks. Emerging in the United States around 1900, it eliminated the need to fill, carry and heat heavy gallons of water, as well as scrubbing, twisting, lifting and hanging large, heavy, wet clothing items such as sheets, towels, and quilts. In the early 1930s, still in the United States, mass production and distribution provided most middle-class housewives with the possibility of equipping their homes with an electric washer. Some other 20th-century inventions were the electric iron, 1903, and the electric vacuum cleaner, 1907. By the mid-1950s, many household appliances, such as the washer and dryer and the vacuum cleaner, ceased to be luxury equipment and became essential to the American woman's household chores. Today and tomorrow useful equipment such as the washing machine, dishwasher and vacuum cleaner made cleaning tasks much easier. Despite this, the modern woman who has become a full-time housewife spends the same number of hours a day, or even more, as our grandmothers used to do housework. Although technology has reduced the burden of these tasks, it has also, therefore, brought about an increase in cleaning standards. The job just got easier, so, we do it more often. Instead of using the washing machine twice a week, some families do it twice a day. In this way, a constant parade of items was created between the laundry basket, the washing machine, the clotheslines or the dryer and the electric iron. There is a similar procession of dishes and platters between cupboards and drawers, the table and the electric dishwasher. In addition, during breaks, we endeavor to clean and re-clean floors, floors, cabinets and appliances of all kinds. No wonder, therefore, that we are always trying to cut down on the time spent on household chores. Women WHO work outside according to surveys carried out by specialized agencies, only 20% of men perform cleaning tasks compared to most women. A study by Ohio State University revealed that men would need to increase their household chores by about 60% to catch up with women in the workload performed at home. If you do not belong to the group of people who have a maid, this is your opportunity now to call to the lady maids. 978-349-1202.